Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. Guys, for today's episode, I'm going to share to you the latest collection of Louis Vuitton for Fall Winter 2022, both for women's and men's. But hold on guys, this is a little bit different from the previous vlog that I've released a couple of weeks back. Because last weekend, we went to Louis Vuitton's flagship store and I was able to try them on finally. So that is why I'm really excited. I just couldn't wait to be releasing the entire video. So I would be releasing snippets of the bags that I've tried on for the Fall Winter 2022 Women's and Fall Winter 2022 Men's. So for example, you are really thinking about this collection. You would have a feel what it looks like in person, what's the size of it, and then make an informed decision and add this to your collection. So guys, hope you enjoy our episode for today. Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budget Art and Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesday and Saturdays about the latest about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, also and unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here, so please click on that one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at RamirPai2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. So again guys, I'm wearing my Sunny's, you know, the deal. So I'm still healing from this eye infection. So hope you don't mind, I'm wearing my Sunny's for the entire episode for today. Alright guys, before we start, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you guys because as of the moment, we are 2,000 strong. So thank you, I super appreciate all the love and support. Guys, thank you. So you have been messaging me here in YouTube and on Instagram. I really appreciate this one and it really makes all the hard work all worth it. Again, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we are road to road to 3,000. Yay! Alright, so the very first bag that I was able to try for the Fall Winter 2022 Women's or the Garden Collection is the On The Go Tote MM. So this one, guys, I'm so happy that finally I was able to see this collection because remember guys, when I have published the vlog previously a couple of weeks back, I was actually not a fan of this collection. I was even bashing this one, especially the gold tone where I felt that it looks a little bit granny. The silver tone, this is actually, I like it better compared to the gold tone monogram. I also asked my CA how they made the print for the... This collection, so they said that it's not painted, so it's printed on top of the canvas and to make the bond stronger, so they have coated the canvas. So, so guys, another con of this collection on the previous vlog that I posted, I said that I wasn't liking the dark brown uh, leather or cowhide leather trims that they have used for the handles and the trims. But for this colorway for the On The Go MM, I'm actually liking it. The silver tone looks good. The flower is not too overpowering for me. I really like the On The Go MM. Maybe I haven't spoken too soon on this collection. So for bag number two for the Fall Winter 2022 would be the loop bag. So this one actually is another beautiful surprise. And to be honest, this was the first time that I was able to try this style of bag. So I could see why people are attracted to the loop bag because in person guys it really does look beautiful plus of course aside from the monogram print and of course the printed flowers what i love about the loop bag is you can wear it multiple ways because it comes with two straps so one of course is the chain link strap wherein you could wear it as a top handle and you could carry it as a shoulder bag using the chain so you could wear it you know on evening on dinner date then if you want it to be a little bit more casual it comes with the adjustable leather shoulder strap so the leather shoulder strap i believe i was able to try this on so you could wear it crossbody and a longer shoulder strap plus of course the size of this one you could definitely fit your phone. So of course, you couldn't bring as much as you want, but definitely you could bring the essentials that you would need for the entire day. All right, now for the bag number three, and these are now my favorites from the Fall Winter 2022 collection. So the very first one is the Petite Malvi. So guys, when I have seen this very beautiful bag, I was like, OMG, can I try that on? 
So the, my CA helped me out to try this bag on. He mentioned the price. So guys, um, unfortunately, the price is too steep. But if you are looking for a beautiful Louis Vuitton trunk bag, then definitely I would highly recommend this one. If, for example, I have no worries about funds, then definitely I would get this one. Compared, for example, if you are just going to purchase the regular Petite Mall. What are the reasons why I am liking this more? So number one, of course, the style of this one. So this is the very first style that Louis Vuitton is releasing. This V-shaped style of the Petite Mall. So on the sides, you are going to see there is a gusset. And when you open, it's so much larger than the regular Petite Mall. So you would be able to fit more. It would not just be an evening type of bag. I also love the top handle strap. OMG, as you know me, guys, I super love a bag wherein you could carry it as a top handle it also comes with a pouch so this pouch is like a chain it's like a giant key clay so i feel that you could attach it on the side or you could use it inside of the bag the only con of this bag honestly guys is the price but for me this is a collector's piece and definitely guys like what i mentioned when i have seen this one it's really a jaw-dropping experience and definitely would recommend to any Louis Vuitton trunk lovers out there to get their own Petite Mal V. Alright, so for bag number 4 is the bucket bag for the fall winter 2022. This one guys is another beautiful surprise in this collection. So as mentioned earlier and on the previous vlog, I wasn't a fan of the gold tone monogram because of the flower print which I felt the bag looks a little bit granny, a little bit old, a little bit on the 80s side. But when I have seen this one, I was like, oh, OMG, I need to try this on. And uh, yes, indeed, I really tried this on. And again, just like the loop bag, this is the first time that I have seen this bag. The first time that I'm trying this on on our Louis Vuitton store. So let me just get my Petite Mal here because it's very reminiscent of the Petite Mal. The only difference, guys, honestly... There are more pros on that one compared to the Petite Mall because that one, the size of it, you could fit so much more compared to the Petite Mall because I tried putting in my iPhone 6S Plus, it fits perfectly and you could fit so much more. The two top handles of the mini bucket bag, you could actually detach it and maybe if you are very playful, what I'm thinking is for some time I would detach the top handle, then I would attach a longer chunky shade and i would wear it as a shoulder bag then of course it comes with its very own kikli that's attached you could wear it as a bag charm or you could wear it on the inside of the bag just like with my petite mall i have worn this one wherein i have attached the kikli as a bag charm so again uh i've mentioned before that it was looking a little bit old but when i've seen this bag it's not really like i was hating it so when i have seen this on the photos i wasn't really a fan because i think on the photos the color of the flowers is more on the violet side and then the monogram is on the gold tone i felt that they were clashing which makes the bag part of the 80s but when i have seen this bag in person i wasn't really bothered with the floral print because i felt that the gold tone monogram and the gold tone flower works perfectly to each other for me guys honestly if i would not be getting the bucket bag in this collection maybe i'll try to check the monogram version because it looks really cute and definitely i would be enjoying carrying this bag so much all right so for the next two bags would be for the fall winter 2022 men so there are two bags that i would want to share to you guys so the very first bag that i wanted to share to you guys from this collection is the people 25 so this one guys omg such a beautiful bag so please take note of the name it's not a keepal xs it's a keepal 25 so it means it's bigger compared to the keepal xs also guys i was curious i've asked my ca what would happen with the pvc the clear plastic whether in time it would yellow he mentioned that louis vuitton has used a different kind of pvc so they are guaranteeing that the pvc or clear plastic would not yellow due to aging then of course they also said that this pvc is a lot stronger so there would be no cracking so that's good news because of course this bag is very very expensive but guys 
super beautiful. If you want this, go check now with our Louis Vuitton here in Greenbelt. Alright, so for the last bag, again, this is from the Fall Winter 2022 Men's. This was designed by Virgil. It is the Can of Paint bag. OMG. So I was able to see, I think, six or five to six variation or colors of this bag and I was able to try it on. It's really a showstopper kind of bag. I was able to try it on as well and see what would fit inside and luckily I was able to fit my iPhone 6s Plus and definitely there's room for more so you could use it for an everyday kind of bag. So of course guys this is not your usual Louis Vuitton bag. This is definitely a seasonal piece and such a conversation starter. The CA even shared to me that there was one client a couple of days ago. What he did was he purchased all the colors and he would be using it as a display on his own. And I said, OMG, hope I could also do that one. But if, you know, just owning this one would be such a beautiful part of your collection. There, I hope you enjoy our episode for today. So which one is your favorite from the women's collection in men's collection for fall winter 2022? Please let me know and comment down below. Again guys, before we end, I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on that one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and exciting tips coming from me. Amelia, thank you guys for staying with me in today's episode. I'm going to leave a couple of videos here for you to check out. Please do stay safe. I'm going to see each and every one of you soon. Bye!